Disclaimer, I do not condone the use of any substances. This documentary style video is purely intended for educational purposes only. This film and channel is about the exploration of my personal journey with the toad and many other psychoactive substances. This video, including others on my channel, are objective interpretations of my own personal experiences in relation to the sacred journeys I have had. For full understanding of the experience, please watch the full video until the ending to gain the full deeper understanding of why and how and when these sacred medicines are most conducive to be utilized as a tool for evolving one's soul in order to become the change you wish to see. So today, my beautiful familia, we will be diving into an in-depth review of my 5-MEO toad experiences. I ask of you to watch the full videos to see first of all my reasoning for doing the 5-MEO DMT, which includes the insurmountable obstacles which I have faced at that time. Almost exactly one year on, I have integrated what I feel as to be most of the experiences. Reality has shifted and life is much different, of course, in a very positive way. What I am referring to, of course, is my personal perspective and my mind, which has completely changed in the way that I think and the way that I feel. It's as if though a ladder between the two have been built and strengthened so that I may choose to climb up and down between both as I feel fit in the moment. The 5-MEO DMT was by far the biggest experience I have ever had, and this is putting it lightly. It most definitely is not for the faint of heart, as you do completely dissolve into a state of complete unmanifest. I can most certainly tell you the description of your ego dissolving does not do it justice. Becoming the unmanifest and entering into a state of complete nothingness is beyond as nothingness. So in this video, I'll cover step by step why I chose to dive into the Medicina and also a step by step review of the actual experiences which I have encountered. If any questions would arise, please feel free to comment down in the comments section the question and I'll happily answer when I have a moment. So without further ado, let's do the intro and I'll see you guys on the other side. Intro. <laughs> all righty so we are back so now before i start um actually playing the video here right now so um basically this is my very very first experience on the 5 meo dmt toad so I would definitely like to mention that even before I decided to do the 5-MeO DMT, I really experienced a lot of other different medicines. So I had done at this point, I'd done ayahuasca, I had done mushrooms, I had done MDMA, I have um, gone deep with those other medicines before. Um, I hadn't done, let's say, LSD at that point, um, still haven't done it and to be honest, I don't really have an interest in doing it. Um, I don't really see any benefits in terms of doing it except for perhaps curiosity and going down that path. Um, but yeah, I'm not into it for the curiosity side of things or the recreational as such. More into um, how I can utilize the medicine to, let's say, transgress the other realms and things like that, which in hindsight, LSD is probably very good for. Although I'm trying to go more natural, um, from time to time I would like a little bit of MDMA in terms of let's say a psychotherapy setting to work through certain aspects that might be a little bit difficult to shift. So now at this point, um, I'd already experienced within Mama, let's say the state of oneness. I've gone in, I've, I've seen that everyone's me, 
everything like that. So I'll make another video as well in terms of, let's say, um, those experiences that I did experience and how long I've been in the medicine industry, those kinds of things. Um, so then at this point here, I'd been, um, Toad had kind of been calling me for about, I would say six months. So at this point in time, I'd been back into the medicine world for about a year ish, excuse me. And I was super, super ready for it. And even then I was shitting my pants at this point. So then with that in mind, <clears throat> um, the way that I do react in this video, I'm quite used to, um, the feeling of psychedelics and the way that you, um, can dissolve your ego because it's happened to me many times on ayahuasca although ayahuasca and dmt toad the feeling of the ego dissolving is completely different so now then as well with the third dosage here i had about 30 mils worth of um, the toad uh, toxin so it's it's called a toad toxin because it's actually um the um excreting or ex uh, excrement I don't know what the word is for it, but they actually excrete this um, toad venom or toad toxin from the glands of the Sonoran Desert toad. They put it on a plane of glass, kind of lay it out, lay it out, spread it out nice and thin, put it in the sun, it uh, hardens, and they break it up into little crystal forms. So I think I've already made another video on that, so I'll link it in the description down below and you guys can have a, a look at that. So then, what is the aim of the video that I'm trying to um, do now? So I'm doing the review to kind of give you guys an idea of what 5-MeO really is. So there's a lot of videos out there um, where people depict it being a very vicious sort of an experience. And to be honest, um, if you're going into anything asking for your ego to be completely dissipated, then, well, of course, it's going to be quite an experience. So yeah, let's um, not go on too much of a rant and um, maybe play this video for now. So then I'll explain to you guys what's happening to me as I go through it all. All right. Okay, I'm trying to do PLP. So facilitators um, saying for mum to come give me a hug. I'm shitting my pants, <laughs> super okay. nervous. <laughs> So as you guys can see behind me here as well, while the video is kind of starting, I've got the full behind me here, so kind of hard to see, but I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, the full tarot card, which I feel is really a depiction of me as a person, so yeah, I hope it looks good. I hope it looks good. Okay, so um, before we actually inhale the toad here, what happens is is um, the facilitator tells you to take uh, about five deep breaths. So the reason we take five deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth, it allows us to start activating our own personal 5-MeO within our um, bodies. So then why do that? Well, it allows um, kind of like a start of a smoother transition into the medicine so you start feeling almost like a placebo effect before you even go in so you come down you can press the air come up deep in deep out and compress this time i want to hear the air going up beautiful air going out press the air press 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 and now completely in this time completely in completely in opening up fully as you get to the top press down like this and coming down to me. Compression, 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 compression. Lift up your face. Lift up your face. Keep on compression. Take three pipes. Alrighty. So now you guys can see there, you put your fingers on the pipe so that the heat disperses into your fingers instead of onto your lips because that's a nasty little burn there. You can do it a little bit more. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Take some up. Take some up. Take Right. So here he's saying to me, look him in the eyes. Um, which I was thankful for because by this point right here the medicine starts kicking 
very hard and everything starts to dissolve so when you're looking into his eyes it feels like a sense of safety and it's kind of like he has you he has you and everything around him starts to mold into clouds and then do, 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 do. everything just starts turning and whooshing and here my hand goes through and I feel like fibers in my hand as my hand's going it's going through different dimensions Beautiful. well done yeah ecstatic there he gets up walks away and then boom at that point I left the body for a little bit and around here somewhere I kind of come back when I come back you can see my face starts spreading out a little bit and then yeah right there I start to panic a little bit so let's pause there for a second so what happened there is I actually left the body and it's it's um, if you haven't experienced it before like the way that I what, what I'm trying to say is you literally go somewhere but in going somewhere you don't actually go anywhere so you're here right but you're here but you're seeing everything that's actually around you so let's say all dimensions by becoming the unmanifest so you become the no thingness so in being the no thingness you are not a part of anything but you can witness it all kind of like becoming pure consciousness so then even on 30 mils i saw that so first time 30 mils straight through for you know in the video here it's five seconds but when it happens to you on the toad it's it's infinite um you just can't explain how time works in there so i come back into the body and the second i'm back in the body i see in the distance a cow and my eyesight goes and the cow like zooms in and it goes, like literally moves at me and then back out and then as soon as that happened, I started freaking out a bit because heavy visuals, I just disappeared, came back and very disorientated. But then at this point still, it's getting stronger and stronger and stronger, even though I left the body for a little bit there. So let's play and keep going. Yes, Kyla. So yeah, at this point, looking around, it's all different dimensions that I'm seeing. Um, very hard to describe um all i can say is different dimensions very hd definitely um like literally looking into a face of a program like or the matrix the simulation as such like almost too perfect to be true you could say everyone looks different at this point that's why I laugh. Okay. Yeah, it's very hard to describe. So when I looked at them, it was almost as if I could see all around them as well. So looking straight at, let's say, the facilitator, I was looking at him, but I could see behind his head as well at the same time. So how do you explain that? Don't know. Welcome to the toad world, people. <laughs> yeah. So this part, very iconic for me. So what happened here is obviously experiencing all these things and it's kind of very disorientating. Um, couldn't make sense of it at all in the moment, to be honest, um, even with all the previous experience that I had. So now what happened is I look at the person holding the camera. So let's say... It's my phone. Here we go. So let's say the person's holding the camera like this, right? And as he's holding the camera, I am looking at his face here. Oof. And I'm like, who is holding that? And I literally like see the person is me recording me. And at first I'm like, awesome. You know, um, let's just put the focus on my face here. Yeah, so um, as I'm watching the uh, person recording me, I see my face on their face and I realize, oh, gosh, shit, it's me recording me. So at the time, I thought it was literally me seeing that everyone is me, but as integration time went past, just to kind of clear it up now, 
that that new age saying came through and it's like you know we are all one although you actually experience this and at the time your ego will make you believe that it is all shame so not in that way so as time went past with other mamas other um, veggie ceremonies things like that um, I started to go even deeper and deeper and deeper into let's say the world of psychedelics and I started to um, really witness and know within myself that what I saw then was the medicina showing me that we are all one thing we are all part of an intrinsic source so obviously as you can believe that you see it in the moment it's quite a shocking revelation so yeah you'll see me smile and instantly kind of frown away why why actually nothing to be scared of it's awesome <laughs> mm. definitely nothing to be scared oh, of fuck. it's an awesome experience <laughs> mm. so here i start coming back a bit and as I look into the sun, I literally see source. So I'll keep the video running now, but I see source and um, I start looking left because the facilitator calls my attention. And as I'm looking right, wow. see the sun, source, it's like Brahma. So if you haven't heard of Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva before, let's pause that real quick. If you haven't heard of Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva before, Brahma, I so said it's Hindu mythology, right? So just a metaphor concept to understand something. So it's a triune God. So it's three phases of creation. So it's uh, creation, preservation, destruction. So Brahma creation, Vishnu, the preserver and Shiva, the destroyer. So as I'm looking at the sun, I see Brahma. And as I start looking left, it goes into state of preservation. And as we look left, every, everything disappears again. So yeah, quite quite an intense revelation there as well. Got like an affirmation of all the esoteric knowledge I was learning at the time as well. Yeah, I look up and I see different dimensions and yeah. Yeah, so basically the rest here, I'm quite back. Um, although settling back into the body is quite difficult so I kind of walk around a little bit I feel the grass now the grass feels extremely weird like super sharp and it's like feels like my feet are molding with the grass and becoming one thing so yeah he says listen to the sound and I could fucking hear everything literally yeah story behind the tattoo is an interesting one i'll tell you that much it's a shame before i was me <laughs> i went to bali with a couple of friends and yeah i got that to resemble let's say the dark side of me it's got a third eye on it resembling seeing the light from within the dark the skull saying that i'm um, like in the body kind of feels felt like at the time it's a very dark time for me at that point mm perfect you are not the body which is yeah it's a bit of a revelation even now there for me in terms of the tattoo i got so yeah ecstatic can i get a hug yeah Let's get this kind of met your glasses. Medicine face. Put your glasses on and see what's what's the difference. Oh yeah. Yeah, this one was a funny one. I um I was actually seeing perfectly. Um <laughs> even without my glasses on. Um which how do you explain that logically? So yeah look this is definitely one thing that toad showed me because as soon as i put the as soon as i got reminded by the facilitator to put my glasses on at that point i realized i need glasses and my eyesight got bad believe it or not it's actually what happened so yeah it's it's the toads really showed me um i don't know if you guys have heard the law of medics before um you see i'm making videos about that for you guys as well um 
but you know the law of medics, the first law of medics states that all is mine. And through it stating that all is mine, the toad shows you that literally. So it felt like that whole toad experience was inside of, let's say, my head. And then this body was created within the head. And then I was experiencing it outwards like that, but also Can someone help me get one thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fucking difficult to explain the thing. So at this point here, you guys will see I ask for water, and yes, there you go. I ask for water because um, from the journey of like disassociating coming back into the body, it's like you forget how to be human almost. Um, but it comes back quite quick, so nothing to worry about. So yeah, so I'll pause that there. So that's basically uh, part one. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little review here of my part one experience. So obviously I'll make a part two now, although it will be a different video altogether. So wonderful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I look forward to um, showing you guys part two, which I'll also upload literally now the same night. So, okay. Thank you. Uh-huh.